Welcome back. Now that we have the three printers hooked up to the FL Sun speeder pad, now what? Well, you can control all three of them from the speeder pad, of course. They're all connected by USB cable, and you can run three different parts at three different times. It doesn't matter. But suppose you want to control the pad from somewhere else on your network or in your house or some other room. Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So go to your favorite browser. And remember that IP address I told you to write down on a piece of paper? Well, you're going to need it right now. So in your browser, you go up to the URL area and you type in the IP address that you wrote down from your speeder pad. So mine was 192.168.1.168. Now it'll bring you directly to the main sale browser. So once you're at this point, this is where we're going to make sure that all three printers are connected properly. So if you go to printers here, you can see that I have three printers, but they're all disconnected. Well, let me show you how to fix that. Go to tools. Go to printers and here are the three printers. So what we got to do is change these IP addresses to what we just wrote down in the browser. So you can see this one here says 192.168.1.6. Well, that's not right. So we're going to go to edit and we're going to change that six to 168 and just update printer you can leave that 7125 that's the port number and that's fine just leave that alone just type in your new number here and say update printer go to the second one same thing change this to 168 well, on yours will be something different but in my case it's 168 update printer third one Change it to 168. Update printer. Now you can close this up. And if you refresh, now you'll see that all three printers are here and I can switch to them. See, there's the extruder, heat bed, right? You can see all the information is here. So, but they all say speeder pad. So we don't want that. We want to know what these guys really are. So go back to, let's first of all, switch to one, switch to the first printer. And we know in port one, the first printer is what? In my case, it's the V400. So I'm going to switch to that printer. Then I'm going to go to tools. And out here, I'm going to put V400. And then just close it out. Then I'm going to switch to this printer. Because each time you switch, you're actually going to that printer. I'm going to switch to this one. This is in port 2. Now I know this here is the Q5. So I'm going to go to here. Type in Q5. And the last one, again, switch printer. And this one is the QQS. I'm just going to change that printer name to QQ-S-Pro. Oops, Pro. Close it out. Now, once again, refresh up here. You'll see all the names have changed. I got the V400, got the Q5, 
and I've got the QQS Pro. Now again, I can switch to any one of these printers. I'll switch back to that one, go back to that one, or that one. Okay, so let's say I want to print a file on my V400. So I would go back to printers, make sure I switch to this printer. Now go back to dashboard. Now I, I can upload and print. I can upload, choose the file. I just put the, a file on my desktop. Here it is here, surfboard. And it just uploaded it. So now if you go to files, you'll see that it's here. We're gonna stop it. We're gonna cancel that print. So just keep in mind that when you switch printer, whether we go to the V400, the Q5, or the QQS Pro, you still have to slice these, let's say in Cura, using the V400 profile, or using the Q5 profile, or QQS. You can't just slice them all at the V400 and expect it to work. The slicing is still the same as it would be normally. So use it, use the Cura, you know, to slice the V400, the Q5, the QQS, then upload the file to the desktop so that you'll know where to find it. So an easy way to remember where we are is to remember that there are three different printers, three different ports, and the ports are located on that number that I explained to you before. If you go to tools, printers, the 7125, the 7126, and the 7127. Those are the actual ports that control the printer within that one IP address. So if we go to switch printer to the V400, go to dashboard, hit home, the V400 will go home. If you go back to printers, go to QQS Pro, now you're on the QQS Pro. Go to dashboard, say home, it's gonna home. So depending on any command you give it, it's gonna go only to that one printer that you choose. V400, QQS Pro, or the Q5, whichever one you choose, that's what the commands are gonna to go to, that one printer. So you gotta upload a print to each individual printer. To make it work properly. So just to show you that we are actually changing printers, let's go to the V400, go to presets, and you can see I have these presets already set. So I can go to PLA and it'll heat up to that temperature and go to PETG and it'll heat up. All right, so we have presets. Go to the QQS Pro for instance, now you'll notice all we have is cooldown. There's no presets. You actually have to go into tools. I mean, uh, go into this tools, go to presets, add one, and I'll call this one PLA. And I want that to go to 220 and 60. And I'm gonna store that. Close that out. And now you see we have a preset. So that's another way that, that you actually, not only is it shown here, you can actually change the presets for each individual printer as you can with any other one of these commands. All right, that's gonna wrap up how to import your printers into Mainsail and some basics about Mainsail. If you have any additional comments, just leave them in the comment section and I'll do my very best to, to answer them. Thank you for watching and next video, I'll show you a very quick video on how to export files from Cura directly to Mainsail so you don't have to save them to your hard drive and, and then bring them into upload and print 
through mainsail. You can do it directly through Cura. Thank you again.